pretty much everything came together for the Canucks against LA in last night's only NHL game. The Canucks, for just the second time this year, managed to string together back-to-back -back wins, and it came because their good players showed up. First of all, goaltending. Demko hasn't had the play he should this year, but he showed up last night, making 37 saves on 38 shots, and just looking really solid all around. The one goal he let in was a really tough deflection that he didn't have much of a chance on. Let's talk scoring. Bo Horvat, who's been the best player for the Canucks all year, the heart and soul of the team, didn't actually register a point. However, Brock Besser, who had nine assists coming into tonight, managed to get his first two goals of the season. Pedersen also scored two, including off a nice rush to start off the second. Then to finish off a passing play on basically an empty netter after some kind of weird quick goaltending. But you know what? Alongside having the players show up, the Canucks also got lucky. The fourth goal, for example, was particularly good fortune. It came after a Vancouver giveaway in their own zone, which LA then bungled, including Kaliev blowing a tire, leading to an odd man rush, a funny bounce, and Besser's second goal. Also, how nice must it feel for him to have that monkey off his back now? Also, as LA was pushing with about 10 minutes left in the third on a power play, there was a very early whistle which deprived Drew Doughty of a goal and, well, he was furious. You don't need lip reading to tell what he's saying to the referee there. So how could I spin this as negative to the Canucks? I'm just joking, I've got nothing against the team. Well, we got a Bruce There It Is chant with 15 minutes left in the third. Bruce There It Is for the first time tonight. And this is incredibly brazen from the fans. Given how Vancouver's treated third period leads this year, they wouldn't manage to hold on this time, but I mean, this is the exact same thing that happened last time the Canucks had a two-game winning streak. That was in October, and Bruce Boudreaux says it's two games, but I mean, you can tell it's like the weight of the world was lifted off our shoulders. That was when they're two and five. Now they're five, nine, and three. That's not a better record. I think the writing is on the wall with Bruce Boudreaux. He's probably not going to be around for much longer, which is a shame. I hope he can find another job somewhere else. But management has made it very, very clear that they are not happy with how the team is run to the point where I think it's almost unprofessional. Not almost, actually, it is. Make a decision. Fire your coach. You don't need to crucify him over and over again with a smile on your face in the media. And in a way, that does kind of make me like the chance a bit more.